Hallelujah. Amen. Holy thank you. I ask for grace. I ask for utterance. And I ask for blessings. I ask for the power of God. I ask for endowment. For us in Jesus' name. Seven purpose of this spirit of God. The purpose of the seven spirit of God. Sorry. The purpose of the seven spirit of God. Just going to make it like introduction. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. The purpose of the seven spirit of God. Amen. About two Sundays ago, I made I did a teaching. Or is it Monday? That Christ is the spirit of God. And we emphasized or we picked John, the book of John, uh, John 1 1, John 6 3, John 4 40, is it 48 or 24? Okay. John 1 1. John 4.24 and John 6.63 to be able to teach and prove to us that Christ is the Spirit of God. In a man, there is a Spirit in a man. So also in God, there is a Spirit in God. So, Christ or the Word of God. The Word of God is the Spirit of God. So in God, He has a Spirit in God. There's a Spirit in God. Hallelujah. There's a Spirit in God. And the Spirit Is the word of God. Let me just do a, an introduction then. You see, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him, was not anything made that was made. In the word, in him, was life. So it's like saying the word is Christ, or you can say in the word is Christ. In the word is Christ. And that Christ is a light. So that Christ is the revelation of Christ. So, you know, in the Word is Christ. In the Word is Christ. And in, the, in Christ is the light of Christ. So I say, in Christ is the revelation of Christ. Which is true, it is in you that you will have something that will explain about you. Hallelujah. So, what will explain about you is in you. So, like in me, the only thing that scientists have never discovered is what? Where is this word coming from? They've tried everything, they've checked everything, they know every details in horse, in man. They, they have given it each of the parts names. Everything has names, but what is that thing? That hot rust is coming from. They've not discovered that thing. Amen. Amen. So that's why in him 
was life and the life was the light of men. So just to make the introduction, so in the world, see in him was life and the life was light of In the world, in the world was the spirit of God. The Spirit of God. I'm not talking about Holy Spirit now. I'm talking about the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God. So, God has the world in Him. And that world also is God. Because the Bible says, and the world was God. That's why God and his word, they are one. Which, which means that when you are looking at the world, you are looking at God. When you look at God, you are looking at the world. So both God and his word is one. Hallelujah. So the world that became flesh Praise the Lord Amen. The world that became flesh Is God But we are not going into that today So this Just want to prove that The world Is the spirit of God Because you cannot separate The world and his life You cannot separate them So you can call the word Christ. Amen. Because in him was life. You can call God the word. Because you cannot separate God and his word. You cannot separate the word and the life in him. You can also not separate the light in the life. <laughs> can Amen. you see? Amen. You cannot separate the light from the life. Amen. You cannot separate the life from the word. Amen. You cannot separate the word from God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot. Amen. So, John 4 24 says, God is spirit. God is spirit. And his worshippers must worship him in the spirit and in truth. Amen. In the spirit. Worshipping there is service. I, I believe we all we all we all know that service is not songs. I believe that revelation is everywhere now. Service doesn't mean song. It's not slow song. Service is worship means service. So when you are serving God, you are worshiping God. When you are following His leading, that is service. That is what God realizes or understands as service unto Him. So, worshiping Him, we must worship Him in spirit and in truth because it takes understanding. Are you getting it? It, it, it takes understanding, it, it, it takes truth to know how to worship God properly. It takes the truth. To know how to worship God properly. So, let me check the last verse, then we go.
It is the spirit that quicken. The flesh profits nothing. So, those that worship him must worship him in spirit. Because when you are worshiping God, when you allow yourself uh, uh, to be used by God, the spirit of God will quicken you. Praise the Lord. Because you want to serve him. So to serve him, you need to be quickened. Praise the Lord. Amen. You need to quicken. It's like quick. You'll be fast. You discover that maybe like before you come into church, you are not you are not healthy. But when you start serving, you know, worshiping him, it you will be quickened. Praise the Lord. Amen. Things your body will begin to work faster, as in there's a spirit of God that we quicken you, that we, that we, you know, how would I, fasting it. It's like, like you are, you are on a three, uh, you are on a dwelling, you are on the three, um, dwellings that have three lanes. One of it has three lanes. So you are on the fast lane, you know, you are not on the slow lane, you are on the fast lane. So, when you are worshiping God, you will be fasting. It's like something will quick you, something will energize you, something you, I mean, it, it's, it's you have a, an endowment of God. Praise the Lord. God will energize you, God will quicken you. I'm trying to look for uh, the terms I can use. God will, you know, you will, you will be quickened. I believe we, <laughs> let me just leave it like that. Hallelujah. You, you know, it will energize you. You know, you be, I mean, you have a part, there's a particular spirit. You know, this Bible says, if the spirit that lives, that, that lives Jesus is in you, it will quicken your mortal body. It will give life. It's a different kind of life. It's in him was life. And that life is the light of men. So, when you have life, that life comes together with the light of God. Praise the Lord. So the light is like it's like you be plugged. You know, when you plug a phone, <laughs> praise the Lord. That phone, something as is like extra extra current has entered into that phone. So the phone, you know, the performance of the phone will be will differ. Hallelujah. Amen. So the purpose, let's talk about. Uh, the purpose of the seven spirit of God. That's the teaching for today. The purpose for the, of the seven spirit of God. So what spirit does is to is to uh, the spirit of God. See, Holy Spirit is a teacher. Hmm? Holy Spirit is a teacher. Let me open it. John 14, John 15, and John 16. It talks much about Holy Spirit. John 16. Okay, fifteen twenty-five says, "All these I have spoken wisely with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you." It will teach you all things and remind you. Mm. So, 
The Spirit of God is not the Holy Spirit. Let's see what John, 15, John 14 and John 16 says. It says, All this I have spoken while with you, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit is an advocate. The Holy Spirit, whom the Father whom the Father will send in my name will teach you all things and will remind you and will remind you this is what I was looking for yes. I will remind you of everything I have said to you but Holy, but the Spirit of Truth Sixteen, twelve, and thirteen. I have much more to say to you, more than you can bear. But when he, the Spirit of Truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. One thing I want you to understand is, Holy Spirit will never teach you anything without the Spirit of God. Don't forget the introduction. The Spirit of God is the life. The Spirit of God is, is the Word of God. And in the Word of God is the life of God. In the life of God is the light of God. So the word, you know, the word, what you hotter, mm -hmm. hmm? what you hotter, when you are hotting the word, you are life. The life of God goes together with the word of God, and when the light of God, when the life of God goes together with the word of God, when you are receiving that life in the world then you'll be having understanding that is the light you'll be having the light you'll be receiving the light Amen. of that life Amen. hallelujah Amen. so he now says i have many things to say to speak to you Amen. when i will i mean the spirit the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things. He will teach you and he will remind you. Amen. But the Spirit of Truth, you can see that they don't, in this, in verse, in chapter 16, verse 13, one thing about the Bible is that the Bible doesn't make mistakes. So he said, the Spirit of Truth, Comes, but when he <laughs> he is a person, when he the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. So here he said, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send, here he makes it he make mention of the Holy Spirit, but here he make mention of the spirit of truth. So, Holy Spirit is to teach you. The Spirit of truth is to guide you. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Guiding is like... Uh, guiding is a way... is uh, If you don't take it very well, it will be confusing. Teaching. Teaching somebody that will teach you things, but guiding you would think teaching and guiding is the same thing, it's the same thing, but the purpose is a little bit different. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. You will guide. So, like one is guiding, one is teaching you. 
It's just that the two of them, Holy Spirit will never teach you anything without uh, a guidian. Holy Spirit will never teach you anything. It's just that in man, we have everything. So you will think because you have everything, you become every. They are one, as in one in one accord, but their works are different. But let me, the teaching for today is about the purpose of the seven spirit of God. So the seven spirit of God, they are the trainers. You know, they are trainers. They are to train you, train you practically. Amen. So, like I was trying to say the other time, Guiding. Hmm? Guiding is like you want to fall into temptation, they will guide you. Or you fall into temptation, they will guide you Amen. in the temptation. Are you getting it? They will guide you. But one thing about this is that Holy Spirit will teach you. It will tell you. You know? Like when something is coming, it will show you. It will tell you. Are you getting it? So, it's because the way it's a little bit confusing in a way to explain it and to understand it. Hallelujah. Let's say, let's say two persons are following you. You know, one one cannot, one can say, one can speak. One way is a guide here. Hallelujah. Like you have a GPS in your phone, in your car, driving. You see that GPS will be speaking. So in the GPS, in the device, he has a, there's a particular voice teaching, telling you that 200 yards, <laughs> you go left. 200 yards, you meet a roundabout. Second exit, turn left. Amen. Are you getting it? But the device itself is has a map. Amen. So, but there is something that is controlling that map. The device itself, mm -hmm. the purpose of the device is a guide here. So it means that in the device, you may decide to uh, mute the speaker. <laughs> Are you getting it? Amen. You can mute the speaker. Amen. Are you getting it? Amen. So muting the speaker, you still see the map. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, in the device, it is only the map you are seeing. But there is something in that device that is controlling the map, mm -hmm. that is bringing, that is visualizing the map, that is making the map or the device, the whole device to work. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So one is a guardian, one is a speaker. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the uh, the guardian, the device. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? The device. Is the one that is uh, guiding you. Is the one is the source of your guiding. Is the source of your guiding. Hallelujah. Is the one is the one designed to guide. Amen. So all the uh, map everywhere is in the device. So the device is the spirit. Hallelujah. But the, the the speaker and the map is the Holy Spirit. But the device, I get it. You cannot you cannot do with they cannot you can't do anything. The the speaker will never we never show you the, anything in the device if the device is not working. You get it. It will never show you any map in the device. If the device is not work, if the if the hardware is not working, the software is it can't it can't carry anything in the software. Hallelujah. So Holy Spirit will never teach you anything when you don't have the word. Hallelujah in you. So when you have the word, when you have the life of God, Christ. Eh? When you have the life of God, is a quickener. He has quickened you. He will make you to do something quicker. He will make you to understand faster. 
we will make you to realize so many things. Praise the Lord. It's not just a shower. Are you getting me? But is a being on his own. Is a being. So, because you have Christ, that's why Holy Spirit can show, can teach you things. Amen. Are you getting? It? But someone is the one feeding Holy Spirit what to teach you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So someone. Christ is the, one, he is the one that has your design, your wiring. You know, is Christ and you, you are one. You are embedded. You are imbued. Hallelujah. So, uh, your life has now become the life of Christ. Amen. So, your life is now Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, your life is now Christ. Amen. But Holy Spirit is to teach you is to teach you, is to guide you, uh, is, to, is to teach you, is to show you things. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. But the guidance is of being mm -hmm. in you. Mm -hmm. So your new life is Christ. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So, when Jesus was on heart, hmm? Jesus was like the Holy Spirit on heart. So, Jesus, uh, was a speaker, he was a teacher, you can see, he was a teacher. So, it was when he was leaving, when he was leaving, that he now said, okay, I'm going to send Holy Spirit. Everything I have said, he will, he will teach you, he will hotter them to you, he will make you, he will make you to, to hear them. To remember, Amen. to remember, and I will also it will pick my word and it will make it to know to be known in you. Hallelujah. Amen. So the seven spirit of God, like I said, the seven spirit of God, they are, they are, uh, they are unique beings. In Christ. Amen. So let's say Christ. Christ is seven mm -hmm. in one. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the word of the, the purpose of Christ says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. Amen. Strengthen is not like a like what we understand, like strength, like you want to carry. You want to carry a trailer. You want to, you know, Amen. you receive a strength. Strength. Is it that I can do all things through Christ that strengthen? Through Christ that strengthen me. Strength is if you don't have strength, if you don't understand something. Amen. If you don't understand the purpose of your life, Amen. you won't have strength. You just be among the crowd. You do things like every other person. When you don't understand yourself, Amen. but when you understand yourself, when you've um, passed through so many things, are you able to gather your own water? Amen. You able to gather the light of God. Amen. You're able to gather the life of God in you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you able to understand who you are? Like I said recently, you don't need to teach everything. I don't need to teach what others are teaching. Praise the Lord. Even if you are to teach like others are teaching, make sure you teach. This is something that you are the only one that can explain properly. So, um, the seven spirit of God Has a seven in one. Amen. So when you said you have Christ in you, you have seven instructors in you. You have seven um, trainers in you. Amen. They are going to teach you everything about who you are. Mm -hmm. So you have uh, Christ. Christ is a seven spirit. Praise the Lord. There are Christ is seven spirit. Let's go to Isaiah 11. That really 
first ex introduced seven spirits of God. Isaiah 11 says, A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse, from verse 1, from his roots, a branch will bear fruit. Will bear fruit. And the spirit of the Lord will rest on him. So, a fruit that will be born, born through uh, a stump of Jesse. Amen. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. Mm -hmm. So, the first one is the spirit of the Lord. The second one is the spirit of wisdom. Excuse me. Spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and of mind. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will delight in the fear of the Lord. Meaning that the heartmost of the spirit is the fear of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Or let me say the principal one, say the spirit of the Lord mm -hmm. is the, the, um, the spirit of the Lord. The, I mean, the fear of the Lord, the principal thing, wisdom is the principal thing in all things, in, in all you're getting, get understanding. Amen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Amen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning. So he said, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. Amen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning. So he wants to understand wisdom. You can see the fear of the Lord is the last, the spirit of, the spirit of wisdom. Is the, is the second one. Hmm? But the fear of the Lord, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear is the last one. So it means that to understand the wisdom of God, you have to start from the fear. Fear is a passage. It's like a medium to understand wisdom. Hallelujah. Amen. And so like um this, the seven spirits, they are the, 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 the those are the spirits that will incube you. They are the ones that will uh, teach you practical way of your life in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They are the, those are the spirits that will uh, make you to power. We say, the Bible says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. So when you are passing through the waters, they are going to teach you on how to maneuver, on how to overcome challenges, Amen. on how to uh, call the name of God, Amen. on on how to, you know, don't just start as a believer and be, you know, you have to learn, sit down and learn. You have to Amen. sit down and learn. So Amen. the Spirit of God, the seven Spirit of the Lord are to teach you. The Bible says, if we check our Bible in Galatians 4, um, Galatians 4, or even Galatians 3, 29, Galatians 3, 29 says, He said, and if ye be Christ, if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed, and yes, according to the promise, yes, yes, as in the son, the main son, Amen. according to the promise. Amen. So that is twenty nine. That's the last verse of Galatians three. Then the first verse of. Galatians 4, he said, Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, Amen. different not, nothing from a servant, mm -hmm. though he be lord of all. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. He be lord of all, but you cannot differentiate him from a slave because he doesn't understand anything. 
He said, what am I saying is that as long as I'm here, he's on tarriage. He is not different from a slave. Mm -hmm. Although he owns the whole estate. Can you see? So when you have Christ, you have all things. But you have all things, but you cannot do all things right now because you are still a child. You don't understand yourself. You don't understand why Christ is in you, which is the hope of the glory of God. And we understand what is the glory of God in Romans 8. He said, Romans 8 says, Romans 8, Romans 8, 18 says, I consider that our, suff our present suffering are not what compared with the glory that will be revealed in us. So, if you say Christ in you, the hope of all glory, the reason Christ is in you is because there is a hope for your glory. There is a, role, there is a hope. Christ in you, waiting for the day you will be glorified. And being glorified means being, being glorified means that you will you will you will reveal Christ through suffering. Amen. You will suffering. People used to think that why do I have to suffer in Christ? The reason for suffering is that you have to uh, this what is trapped in your will must be conquered. So it's like death is trapped in your will, but Christ in you must conquer your own will because Christ is the will of God. So the will of God must conquer your own will. Amen. And because your will is in you and Christ also is in you, you want to use Christ or Christ God will use Christ to conquer your will. So it's like your will is you. You are your will. <laughs> so for Christ to conquer you, you know it is not, it's not a joke. Amen. All your decision, all your plans, the way you think, the way you do things, it, it, it will be conquered. Either you release those yourself, either you submit yourself or not, <laughs> they will submit you. They will humble you. Something will humble you. They will humble you. Christ in you will humble you. Because the purpose, the hope, hope of all glory, the hope of the glory of God in you, that hope is for you to reveal Christ. It's for you to reveal uh, the revelation of Christ in you. Amen. Hallelujah. So, your suffering is to conquer yourself. Your con suffering is for Christ to conquer you. Amen. Because you are you and your will, you are the same. Hallelujah. So, for Christ that is in you to conquer your will, uh, you have to suffer for it. Amen. Either they humble you or you humble yourself. It's just that when you humble yourself, it's it's easier. But when they humble you and they push you to the wall. Hallelujah. Amen. So, now, Christ in you, the Christ that is in you has seven trainers. Seven trainers. Mm -hmm. Seven trainers. Hallelujah. Amen. So, they are to test you. Hmm? They will lead you. Amen. You know, Bible says, the spirit of truth will guide you. It will guide you into all truth. So leading you, leading you, every time they are leading you, you can see, are you see, are you guessing? Anytime those seven spirits are leading you in Christ. Hmm? Anytime those seven spirits are leading you in Christ, they will lead you to the truth. They will lead you to the truth of God. Amen. Bible says, Anyone that was worshiping or worshiping in spirit and in truth. <laughs> so those seven spirits, they will lead you. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Sorry, somebody is asking for sound, not in being increased. Please, can you increase your sound of your phone? Look for media on your phone and increase the sound on your phone. Hallelujah. So when, when Christ, when Christ is leading you, it is the seventh spirit of God in Christ. Seven trainers that is leading you. And they are going to lead you to the truth. Because Christ is the truth. So the seven spirits, they are going to lead you into Christ. The seven spirits in Christ, they are, told, they are going to lead you. They are going to guide you into the truth. They are going to guide you into Christ. The purpose of those seven trainers, the seven spirits of God, the purpose of those seven trainers is to guide you into Christ. Amen. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So, they are going to guide you into the truth. And when they guide you into the truth, you will realize your life. Because Christ is also the life of God in you. He said, I am the way. Christ is the one talking. He said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. So, when they are guiding you, they are guiding you through the way, through Christ. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Let's say this is the, let's say this whole thing is Christ. Let's say this, let's say that this, this whole, let's say this whole thing is Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, they now have the, this whole, this is Christ now in you. Mm -hmm. So, there is seven spirits. Mm -hmm. Now, this whole uh, banner, just as an example, just forgive us. This whole banner is Christ in you. Amen. And this banner is the way. Amen. This banner is the truth. Amen. And this banner is the life. Amen. So, the seven spirit of God, they are going to lead you in the way. Amen. And guide you into the truth. Amen. And when they guide you into the truth, the result of that truth mm -hmm. is a life. If when, the, when you have the result of Ah, the truth, mm -hmm. eh? and you discover life, you will discover your own life. Amen. You will discover your own life. Mm -hmm. So the seven spirit of God, which the first one is the spirit, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of wisdom, understanding, the spirit of counsel and mind, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Amen. Those are six. But the spirit of the Lord. Let's 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 check. Uh, um, uh, the manura. The manura. Manura. Let's open Revelation four five. I just want to explain Manura in the Tabernacle of Moses. Revelation 4 5 says, And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunders, thunders and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne. Which are the seven spirits of God. Amen. So, so now, if you relate it with uh, the seven spirit of God in Isaiah 11, you see that the first one that was mentioned is the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Now, in the menorah, uh, we have that menorah somewhere. Okay, we don't have, we have the, that thing we put in the house. Menorah is like is like a candle stand, but it has it has one stand, but seven uh, candles. Amen. So, but you see, there's one at the middle. Mm -hmm. 
is one at the middle. You have three here, and you have another three here. The one at the middle is the same spirit, is the, is the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Just Lord. Amen. That's the one at the middle. Amen. So you now have three um, the spirit of wisdom and of uh, understanding. The spirit of counsel and of um, of my, of minds, the spirit of minds and counsel and minds, and the spirit of the fear um, of the knowledge of the knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. So, but the one in the middle is this is the spirit of the Lord. That's the one in the middle. That was what Jesus quoted. That say the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Says the Lord. Amen. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. It should be in Isaiah. Oh, let's use the one in Matthew. I want to check something briefly. Yeah, Isaiah sixty-one. But what about the other one in in Matthew? Look for the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Look for eighteen and nineteen. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovering of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free. To proclaim to the year of the Lord's favor. Hallelujah. Amen. So you can see he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Spirit of the Lord, you can see if you check Isaiah 11 from verse 2, the first one that was mentioned was the Spirit of the Lord. Are you getting it? So the Spirit of the Lord in that verse is the one. In the middle, you see one in the middle, you see three here, and you see another three. Can't count, count all of them, they are seven in numbers. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah! Mm -hmm. So, the purpose of them are to guide you. You can see they guided Jesus, mm -hmm. they led him, mm -hmm. they led him, he led everything to them, mm -hmm. he led the truth, mm -hmm. he led Christ, mm -hmm. and he discovered his life. He discovered his purpose. Amen. Are you getting it? Amen. So the purpose of the seven spirit of the Lord is to lead you Amen. to truth, to Christ. Amen. Are you Amen. Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Yes. So the seven spirit of God, they are going to lead you through the way. Christ is still the way. They are going to lead you through the way, and they will lead you through the way to the truth. Amen. Christ is the truth. So it means that you understand everything. You understand everything about Christ. You understand everything about Christ. And when they lead you and you understand everything about Christ, or let me say when they are leading you and you are yielding, then you are worshipping God. Those that must worship more worship in spirit and in truth. In spirit, they are going to worship me. In spirit, in spirit, in that verse, they say, they are going to worship me in the leading of the seven spirit of God. Amen. Are you getting it? Amen. So, when they are leading you, when the seven spirits are leading you, they are, they are beings. Each of them are being. Hmm. Yes. They are being in Christ. Mm -hmm. So, when they are teaching you, or when they are leading you in Christ. Hmm? 
when they are leading. But one thing about Holy Spirit is this. Holy Spirit will first do you. What Holy Spirit does much is vocal or um, theory. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Theory. When you are reading your scripture and you are seeing those examples, it will bring things. It will show you scriptures. It will, it will, it will show you things before it comes. It will show you things before it comes, mm -hmm. and it will teach you Bible. Mm -hmm. It will teach you Bible. Mm -hmm. It will first teach you. Holy Spirit will first teach you. And this is what is coming. Mm -hmm. It will. I mean, it will make you to be established in the in the Word of God. It will teach you things, so that by the time you are, uh there was a time Holy Spirit told me that now I want to teach you rest. I want to teach you rest in God. Mm -hmm. As in, you don't try to do anything for yourself. Mm -hmm. Just rest in me. Mm -hmm. Those are the things I want to teach you. Mm -hmm. There was a time he said, uh, uh, I want to teach you uh, how you can, how you, what it means by Without holiness, nobody can see the Lord. How to see the Lord? So, there are so many subjects, or we call it courses, that I will teach you. Sometimes it will teach you how to, and what it will teach you is how, <laughs> how to, in theory, in theory parts. So, it's going to teach you how, and it will give you scriptures. So, by the time the Spirit of the Lord are now guiding you. You know, Holy Spirit will be reminded, don't forget that I have taught you. Hmm? How are you getting it? So Holy Spirit, Christ is like, uh, like the wilderness. And you have the seven Spirit in the wilderness to guide you into the truth. And you can see Jesus also was in the wilderness. And he was in Christ. Jesus was in Christ in the wilderness. And those self spirits, they guided him, they led him, and as they were leading him, he was yielding. And when he yielded, he got the truth, he got the light, he got the truth of God. What is called the truth of God? Are you getting it? It, it, knows, it discovered that those this, these things of God, they are not things of this world. So he discovered the things of God, the truth. Okay, this is God. This is God. He discovered God. But he yielded. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, but it's very difficult when you are not yielding. It's very difficult. What you're supposed to do in two years, you just do it. It can take you 15 years because you are not yielding. So what they will do is that they will first break you down. You no? Know? Ah, okay, you know how to uh, depend on yourself. <laughs> they will first take all those things. So they will, all those things, all those jobs, they will first, all those distractions, they will first take it away. So well, why can't you just submit and you still have your jobs, even if you don't do it again? You still have your investment in bank. Mm -hmm. You still have uh, your money in bank. Just yield. Your money are still there. But, and your business may still be running. It's just that we just want to teach you on how to depend on God, not to depend on yourself. Mm -hmm. But if you allow them to break you, they will take those businesses away. It doesn't take them anything. They just take it away. <laughs> they take all those things away. You can see Job, Job in the Bible. Mm. You know, the one the one is teaching fear how to rely on God. You say, ah, you know, let me do this. Maybe yeah, he was doing good things to God. You know, he was interceding for his family in prayers. Mm. Praise the Lord. But maybe it's not good. I'm telling you. He was interceding for his family. He makes sure everything. Are you getting it? But so they will teach you things. 
And you can see he knew he has money. He's wealthy. He's prospered. <laughs> Are you getting it? So, so what I'm just I'm just using that as a scenario. Are you getting it? So, if you are kind of person that has money, you have investment, but yield. God just wants you to know that. Don't depend too much on this. Okay, you want money. Ah, I have money in bank. You want to do this. Ah, I have five cars. But maybe Holy Spirit want to tell you another way. But you are not giving him chance. You just ah, okay, you, 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 you go out, take this and go out, sort it out. You know. Well, it might be like God, I have given you all I have, but He may have ways He wants to do His own thing. I mean, He may, if God asks you something, He has, He still wants you to come back and ask Him, How do you want me to do it? Amen. Then, okay, okay, ah, okay. When you are doing like this, it's like you are cracking your brain, okay, 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 God, okay, don't worry, don't worry, I, I, I'm going to solve that. Then, no, He wants you to. Ask him, how God, how do you want me to do it? Okay, do like this, do like this, do like this. But when you have ways of doing things, you know, you have you have ways that is not the way of Christ of God. You have ways. God doesn't want you to use the ways of this world to do his whole thing. So, because you have ways, hey, sometimes they have. They are going to break it. They just want to remove those things out of your mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, second spirit of God. He said, those that will worship me, will worship him in spirit and in truth. So you have to depend on the seven spirit. Let them guide you. They are seven. They can guide you. But when you are worshiping him, with your, you know, outside of these leaders or these tutorists or these guidance or these teachers, hmm? teachers of righteousness, you know, mm. where you are, you know, you know how you've been doing your own thing. Hmm? Okay. What, what do you say you want? Okay. And it, those investments, those things, those things you accumulated, you don't get them through God. You get them through your hard work. So, God knows that I can't take this one that anytime I want to do something, he always thinks of the world. Even the rich man said, what would I do to be saved? Jesus said, if you want to follow me, eh? if you want to follow me, this your wealth will distract you. I don't want your wealth. This your wealth will distract you if you want to follow me. So if you want to follow me, go and sell everything you've accumulated. All this your wealth, go and sell them. Use the money as offering for Beggars, go and throw those money away. Then carry your cross and follow. This is a way to follow me. Amen. But if you think that you can follow me with your wealth, no, no, it can't work like that. How are you getting it? He said, so if what see what is he told the disciples, he said, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Amen. You are still going to be fishers, <laughs> but in different direction. Amen. You know. You, you you became a fisher according to predestination. Amen. But that is still not you know you are not going what you be what you be sorting out for now will be my own thing, not your own thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the purpose of the uh, the seven spirit of God is to guide you through the way to the truth. To the way to Christ. Christ is the way. Christ is the truth. Christ is life. So you see, when they guide you into Christ, the truth, then you're going to discover life. What is called life? When you discover what is called life, 
you will know that all these things you are running after, they are nothing. They are nothing. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you getting it? They are nothing. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There are still some people that are, they are going to Bible says, the Bible says, unless the Lord builds this house, those that are building it, they are laboring in vain. So there are still some um there are many people that will be in the government. But I want to teach you how to do it in my own way. There are so many people that will be still be president. But I want to teach you so that when you get there, Amen. you don't begin to consider things that you're not supposed to consider. Amen. You don't listen to listen to some people, your Amen. peers or your whatever, and they will be guiding you in the wrong direction. Amen. So that you can rely on every time you need something. You know, that's why I like David in the Bible. He's a, he's a king. David was a, was a king. That's why that David is a king. He still, every time, go to the fire. Amen. Don't tell me he doesn't have people working for him. Don't tell me he doesn't have mm. peers. Mm. But he doesn't listen to them. You know? He can say in churches right now, they say they have held us. Mm. When a man of God, that's God anointed over people, are to listen to elders of the church. Praise the Lord. Elders that are not being tutored by the seven spirit of God. Elders that before, if there is anything to sort out in the church, they can't pray. They can't listen to the spirit of God in them. They can just do things the way they have been doing their businesses. You know? So when you want to have elders, make sure you pray. Don't just say, ah, these ones, they have money. These ones uh, is an elder, is a 70 year old man. So they can't. No, things of the world is different from the things of God. Mm -hmm. So if you want to have elders in your church, sort out for people that have the wisdom of God mm -hmm. and that have the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. They are being too taught. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. Mm -hmm. They are being too taught. Those are what, those are, those are the elders you must have in your church. Don't just have people because they have so that when you want to do things, they have money, you can quickly bring money. Sometimes God doesn't even need money to do some things. You know? They said money has had all things. What the Bible says with God, all things are possible. Amen. So it means that money also you will give money rely. Money must rely on God. So it means that God is the source of money. Amen. So there are some things that money will not solve. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. See when Jesus uh, when he needed some money to pay tax. Hmm? <laughs> they came to Jesus. <clears throat> he must have a uh, maybe bring basket out and say people should do offering. <laughs> because average man of God or men of God, that is what they will do. So we need we need to pay rent for this place. Okay, uh, we have wealthy people in our church. Please, if you can give us uh, five hundred thousand, come out. Uh, we need okay. Uh, we need uh, five people who can give us one thousand pounds each. You know, those are how average people think. I get people think, but God may not want it like that. Jesus said, go into the fish, the first fish into the river, the first fish that you get, you catch, will you open his mouth and you will see money in it. <laughs> Are you getting it? Amen. He didn't say, okay, all of you, uh, yeah, all of you have been working, don't tell me you don't have money in the account. So, begin to put offering in the basket. Amen. So that's how average person will think of. But Jesus said, go. So he may have always, no challenges uh, ever come to Jesus that doesn't have an answer. Because he will communicate with God in him. Communicate with the Spirit of God in him. And he will guide him. Imagine. <laughs> he said, go into a fish, into the river, the first. So sometimes we'll be 
pray and be asking God for something and for something for something. Uh, but because we can't be patient enough for him to speak. Maybe you pray and you didn't answer now, you didn't get the answer. Five minutes, ten minutes. And there was a pressure on you. Waiting, somebody is waiting for you outside or in the city room to collect something. Or you receive a call that in the next 30 minutes I will call you back. You know, the pressure was too high. You know, <laughs> but instead of you to wait, the person cannot kill you. Wait on God. Let's go. The Bible says, those that wait upon the Lord shall be renewed their strength. You know, they shall renew their strength. Renew their strength. How will they renew their strength? If they don't rely on God, they don't wait on Him. See, those that have, those that wait, those that wait, they will renew their strength. You know, they will quicken Him. They will tell Him what to do. They will give answers to His heart. They will speak to Him. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, you know, something like that. Rely on God. Wait on Him. Let Him tell you. you may you say, okay, don't worry. Uh, you thirty minutes. You will pay the money. Just rely on me. Just rely on me. If truly I am in you and you know that you are in me, then let me take charge. But uh, begin to send, you know, rely on God. Rely on God. Don't do things. Your life is not your life. You will not we walk by faith. Amen. And faith is a person of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And when you have the person of Christ in you. Rely on him. He's the one that called you and he has to, he has everything to take care of you. So the purpose of the seven spirit is to guide you in a way, Christ, to the truth. To the truth. Not the truth of this world. Not the light of this world. Not the life of this world. It's the light and the truth of God. So when you are yielding to that truth, Okay? When you are yielding to the Spirit of God, Amen. no, I get it. It's seven spirit, but it's like this, it's like one spirit because it's the Spirit of the Lord is the one at the middle. So it's like it's like it's the one it's the, the one pot out to you. I get it. But all of them, they are walking in. The Bible says the walkings of His mighty strength. The walking of this of his mind of the of his mighty strength Amen. of his mighty strength the walkings it's not walking walkings Amen. how are you getting it Amen. so like it's like the walkings of his mighty strength Amen. so when you have you say when you want to worship me mm -hmm. what I understand as service is yield yielding to my spirit when you yield to my spirit Praise the Lord, you are worshipping me. Amen. When you yield to my spirit, you are worshipping me. That is what I understand as service. Amen. That is when I know that you are serving me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The purpose of the seven spirit of God, the, their purpose is to guide you, teach you, equip you, energize you, strengthen you. Amen. Hallelujah. Equip you for the purpose of life. When you have that life in you, when you have that life in you, you are, you are already quickened. When you have that life in you, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. So when you have the life in you, you already have the revelation of Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. See, you have the life, but they are still going to what? They are still going to teach you life. Amen. You have it. If you don't have the life, they won't teach you life. Amen. Amen. So you have the life in you. You have Christ in you. You have his like. Let me. How I, I, I put it? You have a particular bag in your house. Okay. Let's say you have a bag of rice or you have a bag of beans in your house. So you have beans. You have rice. If you want to say, if you want to think of what to buy, you say, ah, no, I have beans. I have a bag of beans. I have a bag of rice. Praise the Lord. Amen. But if you want to eat rice, you don't say, because I have beans or I have rice, just open the bag and begin to put 
raw beans in your mouth. <coughs> mm-hmm. Are you getting it? Amen. So you have the life of God in you, but they are going to teach you how to cook that rice. Mm-hmm. And they are going to cook the rice for you <laughs> before you start eating it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that when, when, when you not uh, when the rice is not being cooked, you can't say you have rice here. You can't say you have rice in you. Mm-hmm. You have rice in the house. It's because when you have rice here in your in your belly, in your stomach. <laughs> so don't say, I have the life of God in me. Ah, praise the Lord. I have life. I have this. Ah, ha, ha. No, it's not like that. You, the rice will still be cooked Amen. before it becomes yours. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May God bless you with his word Amen. and bless us Amen. and give us understanding. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. Oh, all together worthy. All together worthy. All together wonderful to me. Here I am, here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. All together love. God bless you for that. All together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that. in us and we have the seven spirit enabling us to um to reveal the plans of God through us through the vessel that he has given us amen Mm. amen so we are sent having the spirit of the Lord within us to preach the gospel to the poor each of us to set the captive free 
Amen. To pray for the blind that they will see again. So we are going to decree that and put our hands on our head. Amen. Before we do that, we're going to sing this song um, that says, Be my everything. Be my everything. Be my everything. Jesus, you're my everything. You're my everything. And as I, I have received Christ, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Therefore, I will go out and I will preach the gospel to the poor. And the captive will be set free. And people will be delivered. And the blind will see me. Why? Because the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Working wonders for the plans and the glory of the Lord. For the glory of the Lord. Karabasi katalama so kotorobo si katarabasu. Keribaso kotorobo si katarabasu. As your people have decreed it, oh Jehovah God, kilabaso, they have been empowered. Karabaso kotorobo si katarabaso kotorobo si katalamasu. Let your glory fall in this room. Let your glory fall in this room. Let it go fall from here to the
the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. He has anointed you to preach the gospel to the poor and set the captive free. Now you go into all the world announcing the good news. For the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. Oh, you are a spiritual house. Oh, spiritual house. Oh, limale katila barakatana. He is working in you. He is working in you. Oh, limale katebale katima logoto. Oh, limale kateleberi katela baba. Oh, let it go forth from here. Oh, to the nations, to the west, to the east, to the south. Oh, your glory is revealed to the sun. Oh, yeah, Baba. Oh, the Spirit of the Lord is upon them. Oh, they are quickened for your glory. Oh, for your glory. from you is all for the glory of God, for his name to be glorified because we are only vessels for his glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Let your glory fall in this place. Amen. As you've been listening to us, amen, if you've never um, received Christ in your life, amen, you won't be able to have those seven spirits because as you receive Christ in your life, the spirit of God comes in you, within you, amen, and you are now God's spiritual house and the seven spirits will come in you and guide and direct you for the glory of God. So if you've never received Christ, you just repeat after me, Jesus, I thank you. I acknowledge you as the son of God. I thank you that you died on the cross for me. I confess that you died on the cross for me and after three days you rose again. Amen. Holy Spirit, I thank you that you live in me. Amen. Christ in me, the hope of glory. And now that you've given your life to Christ, you will need um, a church to equip you for the glory of God. Amen. 
If you are not far from you, from us, in um, not far from Felta, and you want to join us, you are more than welcome. Or if you, you know, we can. Um, if you're looking for a church, you can go, reach out to us. We will. Uh, we've got a few pastors' friends. We may um, direct you. Or if you know a church, uh, 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 a church that teaches the word of God, not far from you. Amen. Uh, it is. It will be good to join that church because when you get born again, you need a church to equip you, amen, to teach you the word of God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remain blessed. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. In Jesus' name, God, the Lord is doing great things. Amen. The spirit of the Lord is upon you. You have been quickened. Go into the world, go into the east from the west and south, go and release the word of God, preach the gospel of Christ, go and touch somebody right now who is sick, you will see that something will happen, this hour this is the time now, as the spirit of God is, is speaking as God is releasing that word go and pray for somebody right now, you will see the result and you will give glory to God and you will speak of his wonders go and speak Go and pray for somebody that you know who is sick right now. Go and go and preach to somebody right now. Go and, and lay your hand off on somebody who is blind. You will see the result. Because God has spoken and it has been released right now. This is the hour. Go and do it. And come and testify of what God has done. In Jesus' name. Amen.